basically we have come to know these amino acids are amino, amino acids are, are actually the subunits, the monomers, which are linked together to make the polymers. That is linking this linking thing is actually a pep, polypeptide bond that is created, which is simply a covalent bond. These uh, monomers, when they are linked together, they are forming polypeptide bonds which is actually a kind of covalent bond established between the carboxylic group. You can see here, here I have tried to show one amino acid from where the carboxylic group, you can see this NH2 group means the amino nitrogen group that is ami uh, alpha amino nitrogen is linked with uh, alpha carboxylic group of the other amino acid. Eight amino acid ka uh, you can take the alpha nitrogen that is alpha N jo hai wo link ho raha hai dusre amino acid ka carboxylic groups ke saath aur ye jab link hota hai that is a kind of polypeptide bond which is simply a kind of covalent bond aur yahan pe aapko dikhne ko mil raha hai amino acid 1 amino acid 2 basic structure jaise ki maine kaha ki basic structure will be the same thing that is having NH2 group COOH group and this is the alpha carbon and this is the variable group which varies among different amino acid and depending on this variable group only you can say the function of the protein and the structure of the protein is going to vary and it's going to be ascertained so ye r group ke upar hi nirbhar hai ki ye protein ka structure bhi kaise rahega aur iske properties kya rahenge kyunki baki sab structure jo hai basically same rehti hai alpha carbon ka jo r group hai isi ke basis pe hi hota hai uske structures protein ka structure aur properties so friends, in case of primary structure of protein, as we have known, these are the polymers of uh, amino acid sequences, amino acid residues, which are linked together in a polypeptide chain forming the covalent bond. In the extreme left, you will get to see the alpha amino group. In the extreme right, you will get to see the alpha carboxylic group. And Sequentially, you can arrange these amino acid residues by numbering them and the last two, that is the terminal ends, are remaining free. Yani Hindi mein bataye, easy karke bata rahe aapko ki aapko jab bhi dekhne ko milega primary structure of protein mein aapke left hand side ka jo extreme left hai, ekdam last jo hai, wo free rata hai, yani ye terminal jo hai, alpha amino group ka last amino acid residue hai aur ye aapka alpha amino group hai. Or, and it is a free end. Or, isi tarah, jo aapka right hand side mein rahega last, that is the terminal, I mean, uh, alpha carboxylic group rehta hai, that means alpha carboxylic amino acid residue hai, wo bhi aapka free rahega. That is, these two ends are the free end. Ye dono end free rehta hai, jab aap isko sequentially arrange kar rahe, to aap numbering kar sakte hai, and iske sare symbols jo hai, jaise mainne bataya hai, alanine, glycine, cysteine, Jahan pe bhi aapko primary structure of protein, wherever the primary structure of the protein, you will find it is carrying cysteine. There it is a formation of a disulfide bond. Jab bhi aapko primary structure of protein mein aapko dekhne ko milega cysteine ki maujud ki hai. That means cysteine is the name of a prime, uh, of a of amino acid residue. Wherever it is carrying, jahan pe bhi aapko cysteine dekhne ko milega, jaise somatostatin hormone mein. You can see that the third number is cysteine, the first number is alanine, then glycine, then cysteine. Cysteine is here, cysteine is 14th number. So, from the third number to the 14th number, the primary structure of protein carries the cysteine, there are disulfide bonds formed. And this is a basic structure of the primary structure of protein. Now, let us understand some other factors.